What is going on guys? Bird Alive back here. Never to have any WWE and WWE extras. And today, we have the Halloween themed WWE action figure setup. As you guys can see, the entire arena is covered and decorated with WWE Halloween themed stuff. You can see pumpkins, skulls everywhere. Lighting up skulls in the ring. There are things everywhere. So yes, this is going to be your average WWE action figure setup, but with some more spooky, scary stuff, uh, Easter eggs in the uh, setup. So before we get into that setup, I want, to, I want you guys to see this mini one here, really quick. Uh, it is just a pumpkin. This is not my pumpkin, this is my brother's, but yes. There are WWE action figures infested in this pumpkin. They got AJ Styles over there. Finn, uh, Finn Balor getting eaten by the pumpkin. Finn Balor on top of the pumpkin, and then Shinsuke Nakamura. But yeah, that's basically the thumbnail right there. But yes, here we go, into the normal WDX for yourself. Here it is. First setup we have, here we have Venom, piling up bodies. Shelton Benjamin, Tommaso Ciampa, and AJ Styles, he's about to eat them in that corner over there. There we got some more, just zombies, some decorations going on. There we got Goldberg spearing Demon Finn Balor into the barbed wire board. Here we have Braun Strowman. He just took out Shinsuke Nakamura. He laid him out right there. He put a tombstone there, but I don't know how he's gonna bury Shinsuke Nakamura right there. Cause I mean like, it's a floor. Like you can't just like dig into the floor like that. But yeah, there's some more skulls. You got some silver and black skulls all over the arena. Here we have that brand new Kurt Angle figure right there with Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. If you guys remember when they teamed up, when Roman Reigns had that sickness, they actually teamed up, which was very awesome. One time thing right there. Here we have Sami Zayn, he caught a zombie Undertaker. He chained him up to the barricade and he's wondering, no, he's thinking if he should beat him with that mythical uh, style uh, weapon or not. But yeah, he caught that Undertaker zombie. Here we have that awesome new Samoa Joe action figure. He just rest in peace John Cena's career because we barely ever see John Cena. But yeah, before he put him in the casket, he wrapped barbed wire around him and then he shoved that bar uh, nail board, that nail board right into John Cena, which looks sick, guys. But yeah, John Cena laid out in that casket. His, his career is getting put to our uh, rest in peace, yes. Here we have Bray Wyatt delivering a DDT to uh, Kurt Hawkins on the tombstone. Finn Balor doing an awesome entrance right there. I mean, that just looks awesome. Love those new interchangeable hands. Those are so fun. Here we have Luke Gallows. Seth Rollins is about to cut that tree down to size because Luke Gallows is almost seven feet tall. First, he started by cutting his hand off, and now he's going to just cut him down to size pretty much. They got some more light up skulls. Here we have some people going trick or treating there. You got Kevin Owens dressed up as Sin Cara, uh, Mick Foley going as Mankind, and Triple H going as um, Eric Rowan. But yeah, very cool looking right there. And then there you can see his little bucket where he's going to put all the candy. Oh yeah, before uh, I get into more, definitely let me know what you guys are going to be for Halloween in the comments down below. And let me know what your favorite setup is in this video. Yes, and I do have some credit to give in the end of this video, so stay tuned. Here we have Eric Rowan taking away... Bobby Roode, he's going to bring him down to the Wyatt compound. Here we have Finn Balor delivering a cooter guy. Yes, he is off. He's literally bounced, balanced on Jeff Hardy. He just did a, delivered a cooter gras to Jeff Hardy on the tax. We're going to do that right now. Oh, right through the announcer's table. That looks awesome. Okay, here we have CM Punk. He dressed up as James Ellsworth, and he's also, also, he got challenged to choose which one of these men is John Cena. As you guys can see, all of them are dressed up as John Cena, but which one is the true John Cena? Let me know in the comments down below. They're Bray Wyatt Zombie. Here we have Kane about to chop Shinsuke Nakamura's face off. Here we have Undertaker coming up from behind, about to cut the hair off of AJ Styles. Or the head, I'm not really sure. Here we have the Usos in the New Day. This rivalry getting... Um, uh, revived again, which I hope it happens again because that rivalry was absolutely awesome. But yeah, brand new Uso figures. There we have Kane in his red cup over there in those Halloween cups. Here we have Boogeyman about to go get Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns is going to defend himself with that uh, guitar. Here we have under I mean, no, Kane fending himself off uh, of tr uh, Triple H, of Zombie Triple H right there. Here we, and the last one, and the most clever one that I thought of, there's my favorite figure of all time, Seth Rollins, Elite 64. His pants are getting set on fire by Rikishi with that fired torch. Yes, guys. This has been the Halloween setup. Again, all these awesome decorations in the setup video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I want to give credit to Wrestling Hero Figs who actually gave this me uh, this idea. He actually made one on his own channel, so definitely check that out. 
I would have never come up with this, with this idea if it wasn't for him. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely know. Let me know what your favorite setup was in the comments below and where you're going to be for Halloween. And I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Bread Alive, out.